Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode. In today's video we're gonna analyze as usual the Bitcoin price and also we're gonna have a look into Ethereum. So happy holidays and happy Easter my friends. I hope that you're having a great time. I will be in a small uh, holiday next week. I will be going towards uh, the Swiss Alps here in Switzerland. So I will be recording my videos next week in the Swiss Alps. I am looking forward to this uh, nice relaxing holiday there because I need to get out a little bit from my apartment. It's almost a year uh, that we are here and we cannot go anywhere else. So that's why uh, I have to go for a small holiday away so i'm looking forward to that and of course if you want to see the videos uh, recorded in the swiss alps make sure that you subscribe to this channel all right my friends so let's start first here in the cme chart this is the weekly time frame because as you can see we had here the most bullish weekly close ever here for the cmes we closed right at sixty thousand dollars so we never had such a bullish weekly close like we had this Friday. So the CME closed on a new all time high here in theory. And uh, keep in mind that wherever the price is going during these holidays, most of the times we are retracing back where the CME is closed on Friday. And that is exactly at $60,000. So that's why right now I have closed all my trades and I'm gonna wait until the holidays are done to then of course uh, start into a trade again. And most likely it's gonna be a long position because we are looking very bullish, my friends, in almost all time frames. And that's why I'm looking forward here for a big pump to the upside towards new all time highs, especially if here for Bitcoin. On Ethereum, we are seeing already now new all time highs. So congratulations to all Ethereum hodlers and of course also for all Ethereum miners. So congratulations, we are having a new all time high, very, very bullish. But before we are going into Ethereum, here the Bitcoin price, as you can see in the four hour time frame, is forming this ascending triangle, which in my opinion will be break out very, very soon, maybe also during this weekend to the upside. And the target would be up here at this all time high that we had so far at $62,000. So even though we are leaving right now this ascending channel here, so in theory we would have here a breakout to the downside. I think this consolidation here, because this breakout to the downside is happening now during the holidays or let's say during the weekend. And that's why in my opinion, it's not that bearish that we're breaking out here to the downside. So this consolidation here is actually looking very bullish and I'm expecting here a big breakout to the upside. So even if we would fall here below our support that we currently have at $58,600 here at around $57,000, this previous resistance should be now acting as a very strong support. So even if we would lose this support here at $58,000, this $57,000 should hold as a very strong support and latest here we should see a big bounce to the upside. But since this is a bullish pattern, I'm expecting here a breakout to the upside, of course, and then most likely same like on Ethereum, break the old all time high and then continue towards next targets between 75 to 100 K like we have covered also in yesterday's video. So here the lower time frames are suggesting that we could trade sideways here for a while with the support that we have here of around $58,700 and the resistance up here of $59,800 until then we're going to see most likely a breakout to the upside towards $62,000 and then we're going to see if here we are getting rejected or we're gonna see follow through to the upside and the next resistance that in my opinion will be significant would be up here at around sixty five thousand dollars before we could see maybe here a blue sky breakout towards our bullish targets of around 75 to 100 K and that previous support trend line is now potentially a new resistance so that's why we're gonna have to keep an eye here on sixty five thousand dollars if we're gonna create a new all-time highs but as soon as also this potential resistance here is broken i think that we will go straight here towards 75 to 100 k maybe here at around eighty thousand dollars we could face again some resistance but also if we are able to break this one over here 
then we definitely gonna see here a blue sky breakout probably towards 100k maybe even go higher if we are bullish enough because as i told you all in yesterday's video my friends if right now in the month of april and may we are going straight to 100k i think we are still a bit too early to reach those levels and that's why we maybe could see a similar scenario like in 2013 that after reaching a local cycle top for example here at 100k we're gonna see one last big sell-off then maybe a little bear market and then gear up for the final moves towards levels way above 100k because in my opinion in this cycle we still could reach this 200 to 400 thousand dollars per bitcoin but it doesn't mean that it has to happen right now in april or may if it's going to happen right now during april and may of course that is also very bullish and we would meet our targets already now but if somewhere we're getting a bigger sell-off let's say at 80 k or 100k down towards a 20 weekly or 200 daily moving average then i don't think that this bull market is over i just think that then we have another big nice opportunity to accumulate more bitcoin if we see somehow a crash before reaching levels way above 100k because if we are not reaching those bullish targets between 200 to 400k right now in april or may then most likely we're gonna reach those targets towards the end of this year and maybe during the summer time we're gonna have some kind of a smaller bear market similar like we also had in 2000 13. so that's why in my opinion it will be very much important to see what will happen of course in all time frames once we are reaching this 80 to 100k this is what we're gonna have to check once we are reaching those levels but for now this consolidation that we are seeing right now in my opinion we lead into a big pump towards these price targets up here this doesn't look like that we could fall off the cliffs right now here because this consolidation here is very bullish my friends and this ascending triangle formation usually is a very very powerful and bullish pattern especially for bitcoin because bitcoin loves very much to create these ascending triangles in the smaller and also in the bigger time frames and that's why i'm very bullish here for this formation and in the daily time frame you can see that after we got here a buy signal we are seeing right now this nice follow through here towards our resistance up here if we're gonna break it right now with this breakout that we could see in the next coming hours or days here to the upside is not yet clear because we are a bit overbought here in the daily time frame but we still have some room left to the upside so there is a chance that we could break out here to the upside with this attempt but if here we are getting rejected again we maybe could come back down here to retest these supports that we have here at around $57,000 and then towards the middle of April see this big breakout to the upside. So even though we still could get one last leg down maybe overall we should be gearing up here for a big nice breakout to the upside which will take us towards our next bullish targets at least between 75 to 100 K and then of course all the next week we're gonna have to update here in the weekly time frame the nine weekly and all the 20 weekly moving average because usually bitcoin always loves to bounce off of these important moving averages here in the weekly and also keep in mind that we could have here in the stochastic rsi here in the weekly time frame a bullish cross and usually when this happens in the weekly time frame we always see parabolic moves to the upside similar like we had over here in september 2020 when we went from ten thousand dollars up here to 40k then correction then up here to fifty eight thousand dollar then another correction and right now we are at these stages here at around sixty thousand dollars so if here we're gonna repeat something similar i think there is a very high chance that we maybe could even reach those levels between 200 to 400k now in april or may if this move is going to be similar like the last time when we had here a bullish cross in the stochastic rsi in the weekly but if it's not happening right now if somewhere at around 100k we are having a local top then in my opinion we're gonna reach those bullish targets between 200 to 400k towards the end of this year and not right now so one thing is for sure my friends that here we're gonna see a big breakout to the upside and then of course we need to check what will happen up here i'm still very bullish here for the bitcoin price for the long term let's see if we're gonna see a bigger sell-off before we're reaching our bullish targets but what is for sure is that here we definitely gonna see a huge big breakout to the upside the daily time frame is looking extremely bullish here and the same thing goes also for ethereum 
currently we are having this continuation from this breakout here from this resistance at around 1880 and also yesterday we closed above this all-time high that we had here of 2045 dollars and it looks like that right now with this daily candle here we are confirming this previous resistance as a new support if today we are not dropping below 2045 dollars so also Ethereum is looking extremely bullish and in my opinion there is a very high chance that we could outperform here Bitcoin in the next coming days also because currently the Bitcoin dominance is still falling and that usually means that we're gonna see a lot of altcoins outperforming Bitcoin. It doesn't mean that Bitcoin has to crash, it just means that some altcoins will perform better than Bitcoin. And I'm still very very bullish here for Ethereum because here we are still very much lagging behind and the breakout target here is of course to reach these 2500 to 2600 dollars but I think there is a very high chance that we could go even higher than this breakout target because once Ethereum is starting to create new all-time highs usually Ethereum is going absolutely parabolic to the upside and you definitely want to take here a trade and right now we are confirming also in the lower time frames that this previous resistance is now new support so it's not too late to open up a trade my friends of course usually I don't recommend to trade during holidays or weekends but for Ethereum since we are looking so bullish in my opinion it's good to have a trade opened because here we can go really parabolic very very soon to the upside latest in the next coming weeks in my opinion because here we are really about to go completely parabolic to the upside and of course if the DXY is starting to plunge again in these next coming days and weeks this will fire up the Bitcoin and Ethereum price a lot my friends so be prepared here for nice pumps in these next coming days and weeks in my opinion we're gonna have a very great time here in the crypto space for these next coming two months and uh, we're also gonna have a look here into the Ethereum and Bitcoin pair because since Ethereum right now is pumping and Bitcoin is still going sideways you can see that Ethereum is already now starting to outperform Bitcoin and the next resistance would be up here at around 41,000 Satoshis so that's why in my opinion this will be the next resistance that we have to look at if we're gonna see here follow through because right now we had here a breakout from this descending channel here to the upside and there is a very high chance that we're going up here to retest this resistance up here which also in the past acted as a resistance and right now if we are strong enough to push higher than 41,000 satoshis in my opinion we could create here a nice support and then gear up towards the next levels here that you can see in this Fibonacci retracement. So this pump of Ethereum compared to the Bitcoin price in my opinion is just the beginning and we could see here very nice big fireworks to the upside level to level if Ethereum is really starting to take off because here we still have a lot of room to the upside until we're gonna reach those levels that we had also in 2017. So there is a very high chance that right now Ethereum could outperform Bitcoin in the next coming days and weeks. Not only Ethereum but also some other other altcoins since the Bitcoin dominance right now could fall off the cliffs here so if you are diversified into some altcoins I think like this you should be prepared for this potentially upcoming big altcoin season and if not then maybe diversify into some top altcoins for example like Chainlink, Band Protocol or also just into Ethereum. If you wanted to invest in some altcoins then this could be the right time my friends because if we're gonna see here an altcoin season like that you can very easily multiply your bitcoins by just buying some altcoins that you think will outperform bitcoin and all the gains that you're doing with those altcoins you can then easily convert it back into bitcoin and like this of course multiply your bitcoin portfolio because in my opinion when we are seeing an altcoin season this is really the best opportunity to buy some of them and then all the profits that you're doing there convert it into bitcoin to like that multiply your bitcoin because the goal is always to multiply your your Bitcoin portfolio and not your altcoin portfolio and especially not your fiat portfolio. So for a lot of altcoins my friends we're gonna see here big fireworks to the upside and especially for Ethereum I'm currently extremely bullish. 
So if you want to trade this upcoming volatility, my friends, then make sure that you have an account ready over on Bybit and Femex. We also have different competitions going on right now here where you can even win some more money if you're trading successfully. So definitely go and sign up to Bybit and Femex. If you still need an account, then make sure to use my referral links to get also some extra bonus. And if you don't want to trade yourself with leverage, but you want to try to make some gains with your Bitcoin, then try out Prime XPT because here we have a special co-vesting feature where you can easily just copy trade other successful traders and like this if you catch the right ones of course you can also multiply your crypto portfolio without doing anything so definitely go and check out prime xpt you can also use my promo codes here to get some extra bonus and for every newcomer that still need an account over on coinbase binance or swissborg where you can easily buy cryptos with fiat then use my invitation links down below here to open up an account there because with my links you will get some extra money on your first purchase and also a big shout out to our great crypto trading chat over on discord if you want to join our community here in discord then make sure to use the official link that you find in the description once you have clicked on this invitation link you just have to go here to read first and click then on this thumbs up button to confirm that you're a human and not a bot so like this you have free access to the trading chat and also if you want to get access to my live stream indicator which is giving you buy and sell signal for Bitcoin in different time frames then contact me here with a private message because a small donation is needed in order to get access to the indicator otherwise you can also just get here a membership over on YouTube like this also you have free access to the indicator live stream here on discord and with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now thank you again very much for your support and for watching make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel i do daily ta videos and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye